Hello, okay, friends. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching my video, my channel is all about orchids. From what orchids I have, how I grow them, my thoughts on certain orchid topics, to what orchids in my collection are blooming, etc. So, if you want to follow along my orchid hobby adventure, please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification. Today in this video, we're going to look at one of my mini Phalaenopsis orchids in my collection, and this one is called Fal Sogo Vivian. For those of you who have been growing orchids for a while, I'm sure you know of this orchid, and this orchid is known for its variegation. So it, the leaves are not completely green; it has a little bit of yellow going on around the edges of the leaves. So this one is one of the three that I have in my collection. This one is kind of a mid-sized one, even though it, it, I mean technically it's a mini, but it's bigger than the smallest one that I have. But I think that one is a mini, but it's just of a younger age. So after last year's bloom had completely finished, it was quickly focusing on its energy for. Production, root production, leaf production, and so until around November 2018, it had already had new roots, new leaves, and then toward the end of 2018 was when I started to see the spike emerging. I was obviously very happy about that because last year it bloomed. I think it did well. But this year, I was hoping to get a little bit more bloom, which I believe I did. And this year, it also had grown better leaves than last year. So, I think the way that I fertilized this orchid uh, did the trick. And so, beginning of March 2019 was when this orchid's first bloom opened. And luckily, this year, in my old Apartment in my old environment, uh, the 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 environmental changes was very little, right? Were were very stable, so th there was no butt but blast for this orchid, which I was really happy about because it was actually quite a good shell, even though it's a mini. But when it was in full bloom, it was still, you know, at the. It just looked like a spray of flower, and I thought that was really cute. And this orchid, like many other orchids this time around, this year, I didn't put a stick, I didn't stake, I didn't prop up the flower spike, because I personally prefer more of the natural look of orchid blooms. So I don't want the orchid spike to go straight up completely. And this orchid, I mean, it's a very <laughs> known orchid. It's a very famous orchid for its leaves, and even if even if it's not in bloom, I look at the leaves all the time. Now, I've heard that this orchid has this variegation around the edges because I can't remember who said it, but it was in one of the videos I watched on YouTube, and it was it was said that virus was injected. Into the making of this orchid, so that's one reason for the variegation. But then in Asia, at least one person has commented in Chinese uh, below one of my videos saying that Sogo Vivian was actually a mutation, and it was because Sogo Vivian originally was created did not have that variegation, and because it was then taken for. All kinds of crazy, like cloning, cloning, and it just kept cloning, 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 until the mutation took place. So that's the story that they told me. So I don't know which one is true, and I'm not about to. I'm not gonna spend time trying to figure out, you know, what is the truth here. I just know that I like this orchid, and the way the leaves look, they, 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 they well, they, they, they work for me. <laughs> In terms of care. This orchid receives quarter strength fertilizer pretty much every week, except at least once a month. So usually I try to set it for end of the month. That way I remember to do it. 
at least that one watering at the end of the month, I would use just pure water. No fertilizer of any kind, just pure reverse osmosis water to soak all my orchids. So the benefit of that is to be able to res to dissolve anything that's still excess, that's not needed. You know, it could be salt buildup, it could be dead tissues, or it could be, uh, you know, <laughs> number two's poops of small animals in the pot, what whatnot. I mean, the most common that I've seen is um, poop from roaches, small roaches, like they're, they're tiny little like black dots um, at the bottom of the um, <laughs> the saucer. Anyway, so I, I do that once a month and then I try to keep the humidity in my environment between 50 to, and 70%. Obviously, it would always fluctuate but I try to keep it at that range. And if it falls below 50, I would really make sure that I have my humidifier on just so that they are not, um, they're not having too much of a, too low of a humidity because some of these orchids do like to be more moist. And this orchid is still in the original clay pot. I had repotted this orchid once and this is definitely about two years ago, more than two years ago. And the media ratio I was playing with was really, I think, 40% sphagnum moss, and then 60% was just something else. Like most of it was bark chips, and then I might have threw, thrown in a couple of lava rocks. So that was the ratio that I liked, that, that I was trying out. And so far, I mean, in this clay pot and this 40%, 60% ratio, 40% moss, worked pretty well. So. With clay pot, I think for newer hobbyists, it's more difficult because you can't see what's going on inside the container. But for people with a little bit more experience, clay is actually a very porous material that would allow quick uh, evaporation of excess water. So for this orchid in my environment, the wet dry cycle, the wet dry cycle completes in about seven days. And how I water this orchid is I would pour water from the top of the cup, the, the top of the, the media, and I will add quickly just a, when the water is about to fill out, to overflow, I will stop and then I will let all that water gradually go down and then drain through the hole at the bottom. And because I always allow this transparent cup to be the saucer, and that's kind of like, you know, that's how they get their bath or soaking, right? Their water bath. And it has been working pretty well. And usually when I soak this orchid, gosh, I would soak it for an hour or two hours, um, but I will always make sure I drain them. I drink the water out the same day and then I would drain and let it drip until it wouldn't drip anymore. And then I would put it back into the plastic cup. There might be still some excess water at the bottom, but because clay is very porous and sometimes when clay is dry, it actually suck up a little bit more. It would absorb a little bit more of the excess water at the bottom. So, you know, don't, don't sweat it if you feel like there is some excess water or too much as long as it's not way 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 much like if it's less than quarter of an inch right 25 percent of an inch a little bit of water here and there really is not that big of a deal this orchid unfortunately is not fragrant otherwise it would just be a too charming of a plant <laughs> This orchid also does not have that sequential blooming characteristic. So when the flowers are pretty much done, I will tell myself to remember to, you know, get ready to cut the spike. And usually for this one, last year, it, it was like two weeks after the blooms, the last bloom dropped, it started to yellow, the, the, the spike started to dry. So, I usually wait until the spike is absolutely dry and then I cut it. And for this one, because I know for sure that this one is not a sequential bloomer, so I can cut it sooner if I need to or if I want to. Overall this year, I think this orchid received an A-. 
This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao!